Today we're taking a look at update 11.8, and this is one I'm pretty excited about since we're actually getting a new battleship line. We've known about the British battle cruisers for a while now, and they've been in early access for the last two months, but now we finally all get to play them, and I'm very excited since these are accurate battleships that have some really, really strong AP. Of course, they are British battleships, so they also have some pretty good HE as well, but for me, accurate, powerful AP is always going to be a little bit more rewarding. To start with though, it is the anniversary of World of Warships, so we have gift containers at every tier from tier 5 and up. At tier 10 and with super ships, you're going to get super containers, of course. Always a good way to get a little bit of resources, maybe the odd premium ship out of those super containers, although it's pretty rare. So make sure you go through and play those ships during this patch. They've also implemented a new system that allows you to collect more of your gift containers if you have a lot of ships. So as we can see here, really nothing changes if you have less than 100 ships in port. But once you start to have more than 100 ships, for every battle you play, assuming you meet the required XP threshold, you're going to get more bonus rewards. These bonus rewards can then be exchanged for other ships, almost simulating like you've played that ship, and you can get that extra bonus like you would have if you'd just played the ship. This is a great way to allow people with a ton of ships not have to play 100, 200, 300 games just to collect these rewards. We've also got a new collection coming with this update, and it's just like every other collection, right? You do some missions, you get some of the rewards, and if you collect everything, you will actually get a bonus package for a tier 7 ship. But keep in mind, it's only the economic side, so the cosmetics are separate. And if you don't manage to collect everything, in the future, these seven seas containers will be added to the armory in exchange for coal. We're also getting the Warship Strike minigame, and if you play this a lot, you will be able to exchange some of these tokens for other bonus packages, permanent camouflages, that kind of thing. It's basically the tabletop game battleship. I think that it could be interesting, although I probably won't end up playing it all that much since I'm here for the 3D game, not the tabletop game. We're also finally getting some reworked operations, which is great to see. They're opening up the tiers, so now you can play tier 6 to tier 8 ships in any operation. And the cooldown for re-entering an operation with a si the same ship you just used has been removed, which is really nice. They've also reworked and updated some operations, and I hope they've done a really good job with these new updated operations, since it's a really cool twist on the game, and there's a lot of opportunity here to have a lot of fun while not just playing in PvP modes. Like I mentioned already, the British battleships are the most interesting part of this update for me. The super heal combined with the amazing guns, good concealment, and the frankly hilarious torpedoes uh, can be a lot of fun, and I'm very excited to play them. So as I unlock them and grind my way through them, you can expect some videos on this channel. The Puerto Rico dockyard continues. Keep in mind that even if you don't spend any money, if you do enough of the mission chains, you can get the Huron completely for free just by completing the required missions. A massive change here to reload mechanics, specifically when it comes to gun feeder. This is something that I've used a lot, especially on ships with a long reload. It's really nice to be able to swap to the HE and back to the AP for whatever situation you're coming up against. They're changing it so you no longer have to be fully loaded for the gun feeder skill to activate, which is amazing. It gives you a lot more freedom to just swap to whatever shell you think is right for the best situation without having to contend with multiple reloads, potentially being out of sync. I think this is a really nice change. However, there is one issue with it, and that's that they're nerfing the skill. Um, I don't think anybody thought this skill was too overpowered, at least I didn't. I really enjoyed it. It was a really nice, flexible skill that required a lot of skill to use and preparation and forethought. So the new skill, instead of reducing reload by 50%, it's going down to 40%. And for the special commanders, like on the American line that I've talked about so much, instead of 75%, it's down to 60, which is pretty disappointing. 
I would have loved to see them retain their normal values, but maybe make Gun Feeder a two-point skill instead, where it would still be a very powerful and useful skill, but it would cost a little bit more to go along with its buff. A really positive change, though, is the buff to the Italian battleships, which will receive a separate 30% bonus when swapping shells like this. You don't even have to take Gun Feeder to get that bonus. Italian battleships, of course, do want to swap shell types a little bit more than others, and let's be honest, they're not the best battleships in the game, so they could use some help. Brawls is also continuing this update, round one being 3v3 aircraft carriers, which is just hilarious. I'm not going to be participating in it, but it's a bit of a meme, and maybe it'll take some aircraft carriers out of my random battles queue, or the ranked queue, and I'd be happy with that. The Alvaro de Bazan is releasing with this update, of course. I did have a full review earlier this week. Go check it out on the channel if you haven't. But the synopsis is it's just a mediocre ship. It's pretty flexible and relatively forgiving, pretty easy to use since it has amazing concealment and really good gun range that's quite usable. But unfortunately, the gimmick of the burst fire is a little bit tough to use since it comes with a 30 second reload after that burst. And the DPM overall isn't amazing for a tier 10. To go along with the event, we're getting some new camos and commanders with this update. And now to talk about some of these game balance changes, specifically depth charge airstrike. They're... I don't know what they're doing, man. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> This seems a little insane to reduce the number of bombs per airstrike. Um, at low tiers, only one bomb per strike. I think this means we're just going to get way less damage in non-submarines, which is really going to make things a lot worse. I don't know. I haven't played with these changes yet, but it seems like reducing the number of bombs, assuming that the reticle hasn't changed um, means there's just less accuracy less damage in on these subs which i think is just bad subs are already insanely tanky and making them more tanky is just gonna make them more frustrating to play against but we'll see again i haven't played with these changes yet but it's not a very positive look there's quite a few buffs in here um, not all of them particularly interesting I'll talk about a few though, the tier 9 Italian DD getting a reload buff, it's pretty nice to see. I think also having a repair party on Harbin is pretty interesting. I found that to not be a great tier 8 cruiser, but as you know, heals on cruisers always make them better in my eyes. The GNN also getting a DPM buff, a pretty significant one too, is a little bit interesting. I'll have to play that and see how it goes. And the Marlboro getting an accuracy buff via Sigma, of course, is interesting as well, alongside Champagne getting a massive HP increase. And there's a few other changes and improvements there, but that's going to be the update. For me, the interesting parts are the British battleships and the changes to Gun Feeder. I'm looking forward to playing those British battleships, and I'm hopeful that these submarine changes, depth charge changes, aren't going to be too bad. So let me know what you think in the comments down below about update 11.8. And I hope you enjoy it. I really do think that these British battleships are going to be really fun and definitely a line worth grinding. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.